Hey, what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's video, we're talking about this thing, aka money, moolah, cash, getting paid as a coach. And I think more, more in-depth or, or, or a deeper look at the energy around money. There's a ton of videos on this channel about like the strategy and the tactics behind sales and getting paid and handling objections and handling money objections and the, the idea of persuasion and pre-framing and getting people ready for the call. That all plays a role. But from my experience, I've worked with many coaches who had all of that down to a T. They knew what they're offering. There was even value in their offer. They were even communicating that value well, yet when they were on the call, all they were getting was, I can't afford that, it's too much, I need to think about it, money's a little bit tight, let me circle back in three months. It was money objection after money objection after money objection. And when I really started training and teaching the energy exchange around money, ultimately that's what money is, those no's quickly started turning into yeses. In fact, we could even charge more and the ratio of yeses to no's would keep increasing when our energy was clean around money. That's what I ultimately want to talk about in this video. So if you're open to it, if you're open to some truth and some of this stuff might be hard to fully own because we've been taught for a very long time, a whole different idea around money and getting paid and getting an out. This is this is a whole different world and a whole different game play, game we're gonna be playing here. If you're open to that, then stick around and let's get into it. Yo, what's up? My name is Lucas Rubix and welcome to the coaching channel. If you'd like to learn how I went from zero education and working the oil rigs to selling well over a million dollars of coaching and building an online business and performance coaching empire along the way, subscribe to this channel and I'll show you how. Alrighty, welcome back. So the first thing, as always, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. There's three videos every single week that are all dedicated to helping you build your coaching business. Three videos every single week. Some of them are more strategic and tactical. I mean, we had a lot of sales objections. We talk a lot about sales, the marketing, the actual building out the business. And then we deal with a lot of mindset and energy, which is what this video is going to be all about. So if you want to subscribe to the channel and if you see value in it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and use the comments below as a bit of a medium of communication. If you get value from this video, leave it in the comments. If you want to add something, leave it in the comments. If you want to share an experience of yours, leave it in the comments. Or if you don't agree with something, leave it in the comments as well. I think it opens up a beautiful opportunity for conversation. So make sure you use the comments below. That being said, we're talking about this thing. Three years ago, maybe a little bit more. I remember when I first got into coaching, I was charging, I think like 25 bucks an hour. And I was terrified of charging that. I was like, who will pay me $25 an hour? And I, I, I went on my journey um, for probably six months, like way undercharging, undervaluing. I felt bad about charging. When I got paid, I felt like I was taking something away from someone. And when I finally had the courage to actually like increase my prices, I got a lot of no's. I got a lot of money objections. And I was like, but like I have so much value to give. Why am I getting money objections? That's when I realized that this really cool thing happens is when you increase your prices or you charge what you're actually worth, when you actually set prices that actually pay you for the transformation that you provide for your clients, which oftentimes is way higher than what most coaches are charging, uh, two things happen. One, it sort of disqualifies the lower end of the market. I mean, there's apps and there's like monthly subscriptions for that end of the market, and that's totally cool. And if that's the market you want to choose to serve, then, then do it. If you wanna to choose to serve the high-end market, the clients who are willing to pay 4,000, 5,000, 8,000, 12,000, 25,000, I paid $32,000 for coaching. If those are the clients you wanna serve, then we need to increase our energy, our frequency, our vibration, and really our relationship with money. When I realized that, I had this epiphany, is I one day opened my wallet, and I remember this, and I looked at like, let's just say this visa. And I was like, okay, so this bank, TD in this instance, created this very fancy looking piece of plastic and put like a little holograph thing on it and, you know, called it a visa, put my name on it so it's all official and they linked it to this thing called a loan and I can like use it and swipe it and buy things and then this computer charges me and somehow I have to pay it back and it's at whatever percent interest. And I was like, that's kind of strange. Like, like, is that real or is that not real? And I was like, that's not really real. 
I was like, okay. And then I started looking at money and I started laughing because I was like, okay, hopefully I don't embarrass myself here. Okay, I have, I have, I've got some money in my wallet. So I look at this and I'm like, okay, they put an official looking painting and drawing and they made like a little holograph and they, you know, they say it's like government of Canada or whatever. And it's got some prime minister on there that I don't even know who that is. It's got some signatures on it and it looks all official. And it's like, it's, 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 I don't know what this is actually worth, but it's, it's probably not, it's, it's a piece of paper with some like plastic on it. God, like God knows how much it's actually worth. Not very much. And on to different type of bills and it looks all official. And I'm like, is this actually real? And I was like, it's not. That's when I realized I need to let go of my attachment to this thing. It's not worth anything. It's energy. That's it. Now, here's the tricky part is it's easy to say that until, you know, you can't eat because you've got nothing in your wallet. And now money becomes very real because it's a medium of exchange for what it is you want in survival. Like we attach survival to this. So that that's a lot. And people just be like, don't worry about it. It's just money. And it's like, OK, but I live in the real world, in the physical reality where I'm building a business and, and like things need to move. And I choose to play in that. I don't want to live on a farm where I like exchange chickens for a cow or whatever. I want to live in in this world. I want to do business. I want to create a business. And so I was like, I can't really listen to that advice because you could say that oxygen is just molecules and it's actually not real and it's 99.99% empty space and we can get into quantum. But our lungs, we need that oxygen to put oxygen into our bodies so we can actually survive. And if you're underwater... I don't care who you are if you're like, yeah, but it's not real. If you're underwater, at some point you're going to panic and try to get to the surface unless you want to die. And so it's very real in context of what we get to play in here. So the game becomes, and the game for me was, how do I create cash flow and look at it as important yet be completely detached from it. And that was the game I started playing. And when I started understanding that this is energy, and if I want to increase the cash influx that's coming to me, I need to increase my energy. I need to increase my vibration. I need to literally become somebody else. I need to have a different relationship with this thing. I need to feel good about charging it. Think about this, and I think about this often. When you buy like a $3 item from Walmart, it like doesn't mean much. When you save up the money and you buy a $4,000 trip or you buy a brand new car or you make some a significant purchase in perspective, it feels good. Like, like I, I, I just bought a BMW. BMW did me a beautiful service of helping me level up, of helping me experience that. If I bought a little $500 car, I wouldn't have cared about it. And by you undercharging, you're making your services completely undervalued to the client. You're attracting a lower caliber client. You're attracting a client that probably is not going to put the time and energy and effort into it because it didn't really cost much. And they're probably going to be way more demanding. Now, again, that's the lower end of the market and there's subscription sites and there's hundred dollar products and courses for that. Totally cool. And if you want to serve that end of the market, do it. If you want to serve the clients who want to pay you $5,000, $8,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, I've paid uh, $36,000 for coaching. Uh, just last Monday, I paid $12,000 for a service. And it was like, here you go, done. If you want to serve those kind of clients, you have to become A, that kind of client or that kind of person, that kind of coach at least. And B, you've got to understand that it is an exchange of energy and you're doing your clients a favor. The transformation is in the transaction. And if we continue to undercharge, we're going to struggle as coaches. Our business is going to struggle. And in fact, our energy will decrease because of it because we'll be living in survival mode. We had a client, and I just heard about this last week, where every time they got told no, they were launching a new service. Every time they got told no, they just increased their price a little bit. They were telling their subconscious, that client is just doesn't see the value I have and they're not my client. So he increased his price. After the ninth call, the client said, yes, no problem. The ninth call, ninth client was like, yes. And the price like doubled or tripled by then. And it was a great reminder for him and for you that it's either the right client or it's not the right client. And just because people aren't buying from you 
doesn't mean you're overpriced or you don't know what you're doing or that you suck or that your offer sucks. Oftentimes, it's the energy we have around it. And in fact, I've seen clients and coaches increase their price and actually get more yeses. The sale becomes easier. You automatically disqualify the lower end of the market and you automatically attract the higher end of the market. I'm not talking these people have millions and billions of dollars, but they see the value in the actual coaching, in the actual service you provide instead of just seeing it as like, I'll just buy this because I'll get a result. They actually see the value in it. If someone pitches me a coaching program for like a few grand, I'm like, I start doubting it. I'm like, I don't know if there's like, do you, do you actually believe in what you're doing? You want to attract those kind of clients. Now that takes internal work to make sure that we're that type of client, that kind of person, but it's all energy. And this thing is not actually real. It's an exchange of energy. And he and she who possesses and exudes and creates the most amount of energy, the most amount of value, will get paid the most amount of these things. Energy. And then we can use that energy, recycle it, put it back out there, spend it. And that creates this beautiful cycle. And I'm going to tell you right now that every time I held on to this and I got emotionally attached to it, I, I, the flow would stop. It got cut off. You've probably experienced this. But the second I was like, okay, let me, let me, yep, let me, yep, let me, okay, yep. The flow began. And it would come back to me. I'm sure you've experienced that. Like if you actually just think about it at points in your life, you probably experienced that. We've got to, we've got to let go of our attachment to this thing that we've been taught since we were kids. That is the most important thing. It's not. It's not. It's energy. And how we show up will dictate how much of this comes to you and how much you allow to flow out will also dictate how much comes to you. That's just a fact. So if you're having a hard time collecting money, I would look at ourselves in the mirror and be like, what is my relationship with money? And if you're holding on to it, you're probably holding up a mirror and your clients or your prospects are doing the same. And I've seen the most beautiful things happen when we let go of the attachment. We attract the exact same people who are willing to let go of their attachment to money. That's how you get into the flow. And I've just gone into experiences in such beautiful ways where it's like, you just know when you need it, it's going to be there. You just know. I even have this thing that every time I spend money, I, I just bought a car uh, like five days ago. Um, even when I was buying it and handing over the check and it was at an Audi dealership, it was a BMW. I was buying it and I was like, there's more where this came from. I'm always supported. I was happy that I was the sales guy. It was his third week on the job. And when I learned that, I was even more excited to pay for the car because I knew, hey, this guy's going to have a really good month. They might even up him to like, I don't know. I'm just excited for him. It might have even been his first sale. And if that is, I'm even happier to pay it. Instead of, oh my God, this is so expensive. This, this, this. That was the old me. The new me is like, there's more where this came from. Thankful to buy it. Thankful to spend it. Grateful that it's going to help somebody else. That it's going to pay someone else's salary. Pay someone else's bonus. That's, that's, to me, that was what just started unlocking everything. And it changed my whole relationship with money. And now like, it'll come in massive droves and I'm like, cool. And it'll leave in droves and I'm like, cool. It's a flow. I don't worry about the tide coming in and out. I don't care. I don't worry that when it's night, I don't worry about the day coming. I know it's going to come. Like I, I, I know. Just like I know money will flow. And I, I, I guarantee you as a coach, when you tap into that, charging what you're worth, collecting the money, Getting through the lean periods, which is just a cycle, it's going to happen. I'm going to tell you, it's going to happen. You're not freaking out. I see coaches who are freaking out because they haven't declined in a few weeks. It's not going to help us. We've got to let go of that. We have to let go of that. www.lucasrubis.com. I could talk about this for like five hours. In the comments, what'd you get from this? Or is this all just kind of like, Psh, yeah, not important. Or do you see the value in this? Is this worth meditating on? Is this worth practicing? Next time you go buy something, there's more where that came from. I'm so grateful and honored that I get to spend this. I'm so excited to spend this because I know the flow. I'm opening up the flow. I'm opening up the tap. It's a two-way street. It's like they say about giving and receiving. It's not separate. It's the exact same thing. Every time you give, you receive. And every time you receive and accept something, you're giving someone else the pleasure of giving it to you. And it's, 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 it's not either or, it's the exact same thing.
It's the exact same energy. www.lucasrubis.com. Uh, we have a podcast, the Boost My Mind podcast. We talk about this stuff a lot on the podcast. So check out the podcast uh, and explore the website. We got a ton of stuff on the website that is of immense value. We've got free downloads. We've got niche guides. We've got podcasts. We've got videos. We've got the Coaches University, which is Staying to Get Paid Coaching Program, where we deal with both the physical and the strategic and the energetic and the mindset around building your coaching business and everything else, www.lucasrubix.com. Truly appreciate you. Again, subscribe to this channel. Use the comments. I'm going to leave two videos over here. Uh, one I'm going to keep a little bit more strategic, and one will dive deeper into energy. So whatever video serves you best, check it out, or just check out the entire channel. It's at Lucas Rubix on YouTube. I'll leave the link for the channel around here somewhere. Check it out. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you in the next video.